Yo guys, today I'm going to rank all the team support items in extension. Uh, I'm going to do them in unlock order. So I'm going to start with team explosives. And as you might expect, it's going to go straight into F tier. Team explosives is terrible. It gives uh, ammo for launchers and nades. Uh, the launchers are the worst weapons in the game. You have the Panzerfaust, which is probably the worst weapon in the game. And the casket, which is also terrible. Uh, you're better off just using a gun. Uh, it also gives nades, but the nades are also terrible in this game. Like, if you have a gun, just shoot. Uh, you don't have to throw nades. They're not that useful. Maybe for a challenge every now and then, but otherwise nades are not that useful. Um, you can also craft nades. Like, you can craft venom nades and pipe bombs, which is better than any nades you can get from this. So, uh, unless you want to do a explosive-only run, or if you need bouncing baddies consistently for a glitch. Uh, this has absolutely no use. Uh, so don't use it. Uh, it's going to go in F tier uh, far below anything else. Okay, next up we have armor. Uh, armor is goaded. It's going to go straight into S tier. Uh, what armor does is, it, is you throw it down and you basically get more HP. It's uh, absolutely broken. If you have a few skill points into armor, you can throw it down in a few seconds to double your HP bar. It's crazy. Um, you still take a bit of damage to armor, like one tenth of the normal damage. So it is still possible to die. But if you just consistently throw armor, if you have infinite money and just throw armor, 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 I don't think you can possibly die. It's absolutely broken. I uh, highly recommend to use this with a weapon specialist. Because with Debra Specialist, you can quick box. And if you quick box an armor box, you can make yourself safe in a few seconds, which is really busted. So I really recommend armor. It's probably the best thing in the game. If you remember the Weapon Specialist uh, Medic or Weapon Specialist Engineer, it's a must-have uh, armor ST for sure. Okay, next up we have Ferals. Uh, Ferals is also really good. Uh, what it does is it gives you uh, wall vision, movement speed, and uh, increased health regeneration if you upgrade it a bit. And uh, this is really good. And as a speedrunner, I have to put it in S tier as well. Uh, Ferals is just amazing. The wall vision makes it super easy to see things and kill them fast. The movement speed is the biggest movement speed buff in the game. You're really fast if you have Ferals on. Uh, the health regeneration is also nice. It's a perk, I guess. So if you can make it so Ferals is constantly up, you become really OP. Um, the thing is that you can't run armor in a solo game if you run Ferals. Uh, but if you pair it with tank, it actually is still really good. Because with tank, you have an increased HP bar. And Ferals will give you increased health regeneration. So you're pretty much not going down. And then you can still have the wall vision and the uh, increased movement speed tank normally doesn't have. And you can also run web specialist tank and Ferals if you have double class. And then you're really OP. Uh, it doesn't pair well with Medic though. Um, Medic also gives health regeneration and movement speed. Uh, it doesn't. The movement speed doesn't stack, so Feral stays over because Feral is better. Uh, the health regeneration does stack, but you don't really need that much health regeneration. So I really recommend it with uh, Web Specialist Tank. Uh, don't pair with Medic, but it's really good. I highly recommend it. As a speedrunner, I have to put it in S tier. Uh, this shit's broken. Okay, next up we have uh, Handling Bruises. Handling Bruises is really good, actually. It gives faster reload speeds, faster weapon swapping, faster melee attacks, and faster uh, drill repairs. And it all sounds amazing. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, because it overlaps with Weapon Specialist a lot, I have to put it in B tier. Uh, weapon Specialist is the best class in the game. And I literally always use it. And Weapon Specialist also gives faster uh, weapon swapping and faster reloads. And because of that, Handling Boosters just becomes a bit unnecessary. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I have to put in B tier because of that. If you don't run Weapon Specialist, Handling Boosters is actually really amazing. And it would put in the S tier uh, along with the others. Uh, if you run Medic, Tank, Handling Boosters, you basically have Medic, Tank and also Weapon Specialist because you get the faster handling boosters, or the faster reloads and the faster weapon swapping. So you're basically running three classes and you won't even notice the damage decrease from um, not having weapon specialist 
We should probably run equip the Slayer ammo anyway, which also negates the damage boost. So in that way, in that sense, you will be running three classes, which is actually really busted. You can also repair the drill faster, so you basically run four classes. Um, unfortunately, because it's just so convenient to have weapon specialist, I have to pump it down a bit. Um, but yeah, try it out. Uh, use a medic tank handling boosters build. It's a really OP. Also, if you try uh, melee only, definitely use this because it gives you quicker melees. Okay, next up we have uh, random supplies. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. So random supplies can give anything. It can give uh, all of these, but also ammo and tactical equipment. Um, it's not that consistent. So solo, I do not recommend using it. In solo, you want consistent armor or uh, ferals. But in a co-op game, if there is already a person running armor and ferals, the third person might as well run random supplies. Um, the, you can get these, which is kind of a bonus. Uh, the ammo can be kind of annoying because it will override your Critter Slayer ammo. But the big thing is the tactical equipment. If you just spam enough random boxes, you're going to be guaranteed to get a lot of tactical equipment. And flares, trophy systems and hyper knives are really busted. So if you have a third person who just spams these boxes, you're pretty much guaranteed to have a flare for every hive, hyper knife for every rhino, and also you can spam a lot of trophies. And trophies can block black holes, by the way, of ancestors. They're pretty great. And you don't have to be annoyed by scorpions anymore. So random supplies definitely has a use. Um, don't use it solo, but in co-op games, it's pretty sick. It's used a lot in high school games and I guess in casual fun games. And because of that, I'm going to put it in B tier. Uh, it's going to go below uh, handling boosters though, because it's only really a co-op thing. Uh, but it's going in B tier as well. I really want to showcase that there was a big gap between these and then uh, Team's Explosives. Because Team Explosives has no purpose. And there's also a big gap between these big two and uh, the next two, because these two are just OP as fuck. Okay, I was remembering a lot, so let me summarize real quickly. Uh, armor is absolutely goaded. Uh, let me put this away real quick. If you run Weapon Specialist, always run Armor, because you can quick box Armor and be safe. It's OP. If you have Double Class, um, Weapon Specialist Medic, or Weapon Specialist Engineer, pair it with Armor, it's broken. Uh, then we have Ferals. Let me put this away real quick. Ferals is really OP with tank. It pairs like perfectly. It's a perfect match because you have more HP and you can regen faster and you also get the movement speed. Uh, don't pair Ferals with Medic. Pair Ferals with uh, tank and weapon specialist if you have double, double class. It's absolutely broken. Uh, then we have handling bruises, which also has a lot of potential. Um, but it just doesn't pair with weapon specialist. So run handling boosters with medic tank and you're absolutely goaded uh, then we have uh, random supplies only use random supplies in co-op games don't do it solo because it's inconsistent and then we have team support which is uh, team explosives which is absolute garbage never use it don't even touch it so let me restore this real quick and there we have the tier list i hope you guys can kind of agree with this one uh, I did a lot of other tier lists. You can find a whole playlist of them in the description. I did all the other loadout options and also weapons and the TD upgrades. If you have any interest in them, check them out. Uh, that's it for today though. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.